Hi guys, welcome to another week of Whistle Stop Wednesday videos. Here's something, oh there's Bigfoot again, he's going for another keg. But this is something that I couldn't get working last week and as you can see we're here at the Fireman's Carnival, beers are for five cents. And right back in there is the shooting gallery and this is one of Lionel's um, things that they came out with probably in about 2010. Really neat thing. Uh, guys are shooting. They have a barker yelling at the guys. And if you need to test your beer muscles after you get done drinking five cent beers, come over here to this guy. Hey, there you go. He just hit the, the rung the bell, and he is strong man. Okay, and then you come over here. And we have the backside of the mountain, guys. And I do have a light shining on it so you could see a little bit better. Oh, there's Bigfoot behind that tree, scaring Ellie Mae and Jethro. They're going across the creek. And what do we have here? Oh, there's those pesky aliens again. And, oh my goodness, look at that, guys. There's three of those little green guys stealing that cow as... The band plays on right over there on the front porch. Little jug band. And we come over here and oh, what do we got here? We got another alien, a little guy going up to the stills. And this is Moon's Still Shining right there. And that guy is not going to let him take any of that good whiskey there. Okay, there's the stills. And as you can see, they're using pure water as it's going down a waterfall from the mountain, coming down to the bottom. And what do we got here? Oh no, it's the Loch Ness Monster. Looks like he's gonna be taking a bite out of that beauty that's in the boat. But there you have it, you got the big three. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and aliens and just a little bit over here guys and then we'll get on to a um, an engine but here you go we got a couple of bears coming out over there a hibernation we have Boy Scout troop looks like they're up on top there and having a campfire and we come down here to the side and we got lumberjacks right there and we got me and my brother having a couple of beers out by the fireplace and we got a couple of liars there a big one that got away but you could see that they did get a nice one and this is my salmon fishing area up in Pulaski New York and there you have it and up on top we do have Hunter oh gee looks like he's gonna get swatted by that big bear and we got another one here shooting at some deer beautiful area right up on top okay guys and as we come back around to the back side of the mountain there's that jug band right there oh there's those pesky aliens they're out there and they're trying their best to steal that cow and that guy still wants to get some shine on and what i'm gonna do right now guys as soon as i can find the remote here I am going to bring up this week's engine and let's see what it is. You could see it in the background. Listen to that whistle. Here it comes, guys. Good throaty shuff. And what is it? Look at that boiler on there. Pretty darn nice. And it is the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range EM1, guys. Right there. Great looking engine.
Whistle steam coming out of there. Look at that baby go. Big old tender on it. And it's hauling those New York pacemakers. And we'll have it coming out of the out of the tunnel right here. And we'll bring it here for a stop. Great looking engine, guys. Just gonna go over this real quick here. I put it in a little bit of light so you guys could see it. Okay, I, what really turned me on about this one is not only it's an EM1, but it's really, really cool has that gray boiler on there and that's the thing that really set me off on it has good smoke unit on it has the class lights in the front articulated engine great whistle smoke has a lot of nice detail work and right here on this one is your steam whistle this is where you would fill it up underneath that dome and underneath here is all of your um, switches right in there it has opening hatches nice big tender great lights in the back there here is where if I get, get this thing open for you guys that's where your volume knob is right in there for the volume it has a backup light, has nice marker lights. Here's a little bit of the talk. Dispatcher, air is made. Am I clear? Over. Affirmative, the track is yours. Over. Copy that. I'm green. Out. Alright, let's get this baby going. Great smoke unit in this area. This one came out in 2012. And it's one of my favorites. I really enjoy this one. Great smoke on it, like I said. Not too bad of an overhang on it, guys. There it is coming out of the tunnel. Going past the other New York Central. Take it down around the layout again, guys. And this is the dark scene right in here. There's the backside of the mountain. Give it a little bit of steam. Pump it up a little bit. It will go over the sensor track. And I just turned on the light so you guys could see it a little bit better. I just wanted to show you the backside of the mountain. And we'll bring it out of the tunnel. There you go. Nice smoke coming on. I only have that at medium, guys. It's a good smoker. Good looking engine from 2012 and you can see what a beauty it is nice uh, graphics on the side here too Duluth, Masabi and Iron Range okay we're gonna put on reverse there's the backup light great 
great looking engine. One of my favorites right now. I have the Western Maryland EM1, but uh, this one is just a little bit different. Great running. Ran this over the weekend. Really ran really nice. And here is the shutdown sequence. They're all done. Out. Not much of a shutdown sequence. The one other thing it does have in the back here, you can see that there is curtains on it. It does have a firebox glow in there. And it does have a ash pan glow uh, in there too. And that's it, guys. I hope you like this one. And we're coming from Millersburg, PA, where we got up to 84 degrees today. Just a beautiful day, low humidity. Been getting a lot of tomato sandwiches, so we've been happy here. And that's it. Until next week, guys. Out!